Hello, my name is Jeff Morris. I'm a senior application expert with Imagine Technologies and I would like to welcome you to today's video tech tip dealing with line coding within Civil 3D. This is in fact a three-part series, this being the first part, therefore Line Coding 101. This deals primarily with the line work code sets that have been available within Civil 3D for the past few releases, which works in conjunction with the survey database. Most of the tools that we'll be going over can be found in the survey tab of the Civil 3D tool space. Line work code sets allow us to do line connectivity by utilizing the standard point text files while importing them into the survey database in a similar fashion to line work being generated from electronic field books. Line work code sets work hand in hand with figure prefix databases where we determine either the styles or the layers the line work is going to be generated on, whether they are break lines or lot lines. Break lines will be covered later on in part two. The lot lines and parcels will be covered in part three. This part will deal with the bread and butter coding, so to speak, the very basics of line work code sets. In part two, we'll be looking at some more advanced coding techniques the bottom line is, through effectively working with line work code sets, we will gain greater productivity through the field to finish process. The line work code sets can be found within the survey tab of the tool space. And with this issue, we'll be looking at how to automatically begin line work code sets when it finds a match within the figure prefix database. We'll be looking at some special features such as the SCLS for close or the OC for on curve. As mentioned, the figure prefix database allows us to determine what layer the line work should be going on or if a special style is assigned to that line work. So let's get started with Civil 3D. Okay, so here we are in Civil 3D. This is Civil 3D 2017, but what I'm about to show you will work with any version of Civil 3D from 2013 onward. You will note that we are in the tool space on the survey tab, and I have a few different figure prefix databases, Imagine It, IMG Properties, and a few different line work code sets, Imagine It and IMG Space. And the ones that are in bold are our current choices. I also have a few survey databases already set up. So what I'll be doing is I'll be opening up this survey database by right-clicking and going to Open for Edit. You will notice that there are no figures nor survey points within this survey database. I have a few choices of importing survey data. I can go to the Home tab and import survey data, or I can right-click on the survey database and import survey data, or go directly to importing a point file. We'll be using the import survey data by going to the wizard. We'll be selecting our survey database, selecting what I want to import. You'll notice that we have fieldbook files, land XML files, point files, or points from the drawing. We'll be using the point files. And I'll select the ASCII file to bring in. I select the appropriate format. We will not be using a network since this is a regular point file and not a field, field book file. And here we can review that it is in the proper format, which prefix database I want to use. Do I want to process the line work during import? I say yes. And what is my current line work code sets? 
I do want to bring in the survey figures as well as the survey points. The data came in, however it is off the screen, so I could either do a zoom extents or I could right click on the import event and zoom to. We will notice now that in the survey database we do have an import event which highlights everything that we just brought in and that import event does have some figures which are the lines as well as various survey points. You will also notice that the survey figure is on layer 0. Now let's look at some other alternatives. You'll notice up here that we have two building codes and we don't have a line between them. So let's look at one of the features within the line work code sets. So I go down to line work code sets, I right click and edit that, and you will notice that the automatic begin on figure prefix match is currently set to no. So I'm going to set that to yes. You will also notice that in our figure prefix databases, the imagine it, we do have a code for building And you will notice that building will be using the building style. So with those changes made within the line work code sets, I can simply right click on the event and re-import that. I'm using every, all the defaults. And since there are already points in the point database with the same number, I'm going to overwrite those points. Now what you'll see is without any changes in the coding, because there was a match within the figure prefix database for building, and I changed my line code sets to automatically begin on a match within the figure prefix database, it brought in this line and the style was set to building. Now let's look at some of the other coding that has been done. One is the OC for on center. What we have here is easement begin and then we have easement on center, easement on center and what that means is it's going to connect the easement segments together and for the points that are on center it's going to run a tangent through that. And you will note that the end of the uh, curve is actually not on the point what it did is it extended the line so the curve remains tangent to the line work. It does that on both ends. Here I no longer have an on curve so therefore it does a straight line segment. Here I have the continue segment because in the point file that we'll be looking at later it is at this point where we insert these points and then we come back to point 604 and we continue our figure. Finally at the end, 607, we have a close segment so that will actually close my figure and close it back to the beginning. So let's look at the text file that we brought in. The easiest way of doing that is to right click on the import event and go to properties. There amongst other things you will find the file that we brought in and I have a little edit button here and we'll open up the text file in notepad and this is the coding that we have we have the various points we have a space and the space will determine the line code so I have my begin on center on center and you'll notice here that after point 6003 I go to point 5044 and I have my two buildings and then I continue on with my line work. The next thing I want to look at is figure prefix database and you will see that for the buildings we have the layer set to layer 0 but we have a style defined within Civil 3D for the various buildings that we bring in. I also have another 
figure prefix database and that actually has a figure prefix for easements which will go on the specific layer and the style is set to standard. So let's go to the event, right click and re-import, but this time I want to change my current figure prefix database to IMG properties that have the easements defined. I need to override all the points again because I don't want to duplicate them. And now you see the easements come in with the style easement and it actually generates a parcel which we'll be looking at in part 3. Okay, so in this part in line work 101 we went through the basics of importing text files and being able to create line work as the text file comes in and also to predetermine with the figure prefix databases as to what layer or what style this line work is going to go in at. We also looked at some special codes for OC as well as the CLS for close. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this video tech tip. For more information please visit us at www.imaginit.com or you can call us at 1-800-356-9050. Please check back often here for more video tech tips, white papers, and blogs. Thank you very much and have a good day.